Now, welcome to the first class on integration. Well, in this class, we'll be dealing with the definite integration. And in our next class, I'll be dealing with the indefinite integration. Now, what's the difference between definite integration and indefinite integration? Definite is a situation whereby you'll be given limits at which you are asked to integrate. Now, you are given the limits of this one. You have four here, you have one here. This place is called the upper limit, and this is called the lower limit. And as you can see, we are given the upper limit and the lower limit. The upper limit and the lower limit. But I set this because I only have interest in the calculator method first. And the next videos will be dealing with the hand method of integration. Now, let me show you the way to do the integration, the definite integration on the calculator. Now, let us start. The first question says, evaluate the integration of this. But well, you are given the upper limit to be 4 and lower limit to be, what, to be 1. So you don't have any issue than to press the button for the integration. And that is the button under alpha. Now, when you press that button under alpha, you will observe it's going to give you something like this. Now, when you have the button like this, when you press this, it's give you something like this. Now, at the numerator here, you are going to see, sorry, take your cursor to this part here, to this place. You are going to use this big button here to be directing where you are going. Now, come to this place, press the four here. Now, when you press the four here, everybody come to the lowest one here, then press the one. Now, when you come to this place, and you press one, then come to the middle here. When you come to the middle here, you observe that what you have is in the bracket. So open the bracket. After you open the bracket, then press your alpha x, that is alpha close bracket, then minus one, minus one, close the bracket. Then press square according to the question. After you close the bracket, you press square, then press equals to, to solve. And you observe that the answer is equal to what? Nine. That is how to deal with the definite integration on Casio 991 AS Plus. Some of you are saying, I should work on the Casio, uh, that is the classic calculator, yes. I'm going to make some videos on classic calculator in which I'm going to show you some of this calculator trick and the shortcuts on the calculator using the classic calculator. For plenty of time, just follow me with the Casio 991 AS Plus. Now, press AC. When you press AC, that is how to solve the first one. Now, check the first, the second one. Now, looking at the second question, you press the, uh, the integration button again. You observe, you are going to have this. Don't forget. Then, you have the pi at this place. Now, how will you press pi? Pi is shift and this button. The button that says multiply by 10 raised power x. That button is beside answer under your calculator like below is besides equals equals to button then you press that when you come to this place when you come to this place make sure you are at this place at the upper limit here then press that shift and the times 10 raised power x is going to give you a uh, pi when it gives you pi then come to the under here then when you come to under here you press your what your zero now when you press zero here then come to the middle so at the middle here, you observe that the question we have is the question we have is what is the fracture button. When you have the fracture button, then don't forget you press the fracture button here. Now when you press the fracture button, come to your numerator. The numerator you have it to be what cos pi. So we are going to substitute this. Ah, uh, sorry, cos square theta. We are going to substitute this theta with what with pi. So press cos. Immediately you press cos. Cos will open the bracket. Then let us press our pi again, that is shift, and that's 10 raised power x. Then close the bracket. When you close the bracket, then press square. When you square it, then press minus 1. Now when you press minus 1, come to your denominator. When you come to your denominator, you press your sign. When you press sign, it will open the bracket. Then press your pi. Again, that is shift, and the what? And the 10 raised power what? x. Then close the bracket. When you close the bracket, press square again. Don't forget you have the one here. Then press equals to. 
When pi is equals to, the calculator is going to solve. Now, when you solve, when you observe, the answer that you have on your calculator, the answer is going to be what? To be minus pi. Are we all together? The answer is going to be what? Minus pi. Now, that is all for the what? For the second question. Now, when you have this to be minus pi, then let us see. The same way we solve this is the same way we solve this. But let us go to the third question. Now, the third question says, now, these are CBT questions. They may try, the examiner may try to change the way of setting the question in what sense. Now, when you see this, the question says, if you have the integration of, you can see the upper limit is k, the lower limit is 2, and you are asked to integrate this. But they said, the integration of this is equal to 4. They now ask you to find what? k. Now, press your integration button. When press your integration button, the next come to the what? To the upper limit here. When it comes to the upper limit here, they say we should find k. So we don't know k. So I will, I will just advise you to use the optional method. So let us use the optional method. So we are going to substitute each of these options. The one that is equal to 4 as the answer is our what? Is our right answer. So where you have k here, substitute the first option, which is minus 2. Then come to your uh, lower limit here. When it comes to your lower limit here, you have 2. So when you have 2, then come to the inside here. So we have minus 2 here, which is the first option. We just want to test. Then you press the 2 here. Then in the in-between here, we are going to press this, which is open the brackets. When you open the brackets, we have 2, then alpha x. Don't forget, your alpha x is alpha and the what? And the close bracket. Then we have what? Minus 1. Close the bracket. When you close the bracket, you know this is the question. But they said this integration of this must be equal to 4. So press equals to you observe that this is equal to what? 4. But I want to bring out something here. And what I want to bring out is that this is equal to 4. The first option is equal to 4, but it's not the right answer. Why it is not the right answer? Now, let us proceed. Now, go to where you have, where you substituted your k to be what? To be minus 2. Let us go and substitute the minus 2 to be equal to what? To be the third option again. And the, the second option, rather, and second option is what? Is 3. So in this place, you have minus 2. Erase it and press the second option to be equal to what? 3. And press the second option to be equal to 3. Then press equal to. When press equal to, you observe that this is still equal to what? 4. Uh -huh. This is where I'm going. Now, go back again. Go to where you insert your 3. That is, we are changing the value of what? Of k. We are saying the one that will give us what? 4. And when you change this place, change it to option C. And option C is 4, press equals 2. And you observe that if you press 4 here, the answer is equals to what? 10. So this one is equals to 10. So go back again, go to where you have your K, change this, and press the what? The fourth option, which is 6. When you change it and press 6 there, press equals 2, you observe that this is equals to what? 28. Now, out of the four, four options, the only two options that give us 4 is option A. An option B. And I want to see in the comment section the one that is equal to the answer here. And why is still the answer? <laughs> Just let me tell you. The reason why the option B is the answer is because if you observe very well, K here is found at the upper limit. And the two here, we have two here at the lower limit. And take note, the upper limit must always be greater than what? The lower limit. And if you check the option A, option A is minus 2 which is lesser than what? That too, so it can never be the words, the upper limit. So if you check option B, option B is what? Is 3, which is greater than what? 2. So that is why option B is what? Is the correct answer. So therefore, I've been able to explain the definite integration. So in the next episode, we'll be explaining the indefinite integration. And indefinite integration are those ones at which you will not be given limits. Let me give you an instance. You can just be asked to find integration of Cos keep x the x. Now, how will you do this? It's very simple on this calculator. With this calculator, you are good to go. So please and please, I'm going to share with you in the next episode. So please and please, for you to have this, just like, subscribe, and watch more videos on our channel. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you.